Hey, my name is Wallens and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm! 16-year-old Chloe's story is complete, but today we have the bonus episode. How do we start it? Right here. Ah. So if you're not aware, this episode is about Max and Chloe before Max moved away. And Hannah Birch and Ashley Tell actually come back as Max and Chloe's voice actresses. So this is gonna be a treat. Let's go. Oh, it's a, it's a hostage situation. <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. Remember Chloe was really into science before. <laughs> Oh my goodness, girls. Oh. 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 oh my god. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. You are insane, but that was amazing. Uh that was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. How creative. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and Chuck it on the pile over there. All right, girl. Hey, at least we don't have a hole in the floor. That's a plus. <laughs> it feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. days my whole family moves to Seattle I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again this could be my last chance to say goodbye but how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her it's supposed to be a happy girls hanging out episode but it's honestly pretty Bittersweet. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Yeah. Release me! <laughs> nope. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Can we see it without the highlight? Uh, okay, let's save it for her while she's not looking. Or maybe I can have it. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Are they trying to hint to me something here? It just seems like such a big moment for a hoodie. I can't believe Chloe wants to part with this. Seems so unlike her. Mm, well, out with the old and with the new. What is that? We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. 
Is that like a Fruit Loop or what is it? What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? Oh. The serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> I want to say Chloe is disgusting, but I actually have a... Uh, what do you call that thing? A gumball machine. I have a gumball machine I made in 8th grade, and to this day, it still has gumballs in it. And let's just say that... I'm not in 8th grade right now. <laughs> but probably let's not lick it, okay? <laughs> your mom and your dentist will thank me. So lame. Just so lame. <laughs> that seems like how a typical young Chloe and Max interaction would go. Max holding her back a little bit. <laughs> Chloe's been beating me for a while, but... That growth spurt could come any day now. Any day. Wow, was Chloe that tall? Oh my god. And that was in 2005. Jeez. Oh, 13 month old Chloe. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I was wondering why it looked a little weird here. How about. An old toy that Chloe no longer plays with. The bed is here. That took me a long time to clue in on. No! Why are we why are we trashing Mr. Sharky? I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. It's not broken! No, we're not throwing it away. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? It actually is a little bit depressing seeing that because on one hand, it's really cool to see how creative and free Chloe is here, but the contrast between this and her growing up is almost a little bit too much to bear. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Now, way to alienate your kid. Freaking slap a gigantic sticker about uh. it being donated on the thing you're donating. Great. <laughs> I don't think Chloe's played with her stuff shark in forever. We don't need to throw it away. No, no. <sighs> I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. To the parents of Chloe Price, dear parents, congratulations. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for a September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26. April 2nd is the deadline to inform us of your intentions, regardless admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's Office of Financial Assistance. Yeah, we'll be doing that. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez, Director of Administration or uh, Admissions. Hmm. Hey, they crossed out the, the address. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Mm hmm? Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. <laughs> like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people you're real thanks how old are chloe and max here again wait is it 2005 right now no 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 according to the letter it's 2008 right now so okay i can't actually calculate it because i don't know what year chloe was born in 96 or mm -hmm. something but um i just feel like at such a young age it's kind of rare for someone to have such a passionate interest because you can tell that chloe is really into science or maybe it's just me because when i was 13 or whatever i didn't know what the hell i wanted to do 
How about an old toy that Chloe no longer plays with? So it's nice that she had such an interest and it's really sad that she didn't get to pursue it further because of her circumstances. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. Oh, she's not super into photography here yet, huh? All right. <laughs> what the heck is that poster in the back there? Gigantic alien looking creature. Look, science, planets, and space and stuff. And the globe. Oh my god, that's super sciencey. Menagerie of magic. We're not. No! I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. Okay, well, we better throw it away before that changes. <laughs> this seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. <laughs> Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? We should donate it. It's only lame because you're the one losing your fingers. You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. <laughs> I know they want me to throw the shark away, but I don't know what's gonna move anything forward. So I'm just gonna keep looking around like I don't hear you, Max. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Oh, that's actually kind of surprising, because I sort of arbitrarily assume that Chloe is the more athletic one out of the two. She's the taller one, which is why I guess I think that, but I guess we don't really have any proof of anything, huh? Neither of us are on sports teams. A's, A's for days. Eighth grade. Did I just not? Because Blackwell is kind of prestigious. Mm. I guess I just didn't get into Blackwell? Maybe I go to a random public school. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty glowy bear. <laughs> Cause she's already gone to 8th grade here. That's kind of a strange time for Max to move too, cause if she moved right before high school started, or um, middle school, whatever, whatever Americans have, then that would be a much smoother transition. Mm -hmm. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Don't throw away, don't throw away memories. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> yes, it does. That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Like right now? <coughs> okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. I'm looking at that tape recorder next to the board games. Oh my god, do you see those around anymore? Hold on. I'm thinking about the hoodie again. Does she want to throw it away? Because... Did something happen while we weren't looking? Something that made that hoodie associated with bad memories for her? Holes? Mm. This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? 
the sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. Wow, that looks exactly like... <laughs> it looks like how Matt dances in episode one. How about you? Any new moves? Of <laughs> course. Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. I don't know who's more athletic, but I know who's the better dancer. <laughs> oh. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Bongo the cat. Mm. Is that some boy band up there? Huh. There was another one of um the boy band people here too. I've tried my best to clean this place. I should check in with Chloe now. No, not yet. Oh god, Barbie! Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. But we can't say Barbie, because that's trademarked. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Hey, the one hour of entertainment. That's, that's cheaper than a movie ticket. <laughs> Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. <laughs> The Adventurous Adventures of Super Max and Dr. Cloenstein, copyright. Our crime fighting has really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier. Dr. Cloenstein? Oh, that... That feels kind of ominous, oh my god. Well, we if we don't have a last panel, we decide how our future is gonna be. Is what I would say if we didn't already know. <sighs> okay. What about the pirate CD? It's somewhere here, isn't it? Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> Who are these people? Shady? Mesh? Abe? Is that some reference I'm not aware of? <laughs> In any case, it looks like we might have been going through puberty. <laughs> How about these boy band trading cards? Ah. Uh. Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? <laughs> I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Dude, we're not throwing anything away. You know why? Because everything in this room is a memory with Max. Pretty much everything, yeah. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. That board doesn't even have wheels. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Textbooks? Wait, do you have to buy textbooks in America, even when you're in elementary school? Because in Canada, we just use the same one every year, and then after you're done, you give it back to the school. I know it's not like that in university, because... I've tried my best to clean this place. I should check in with Chloe now. They'll change, like, one word and then call it a new edition. But in elementary school... Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the clickable things, aside from the shark. Okay, fine. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are. <laughs> Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. 
Chloe wouldn't throw away her childhood friend. Would you, Max? <laughs> we haven't thrown anything away. Okay, that's it for all the clickable things. But um, sometimes when I focus a lot on the clickable stuff, I don't actually look around the room. So I think I want to just have a quick spin and look around the actual objects. I've tried my best to clean this place. I should check in with Chloe now. Oh, there's another skateboard with wheels this time. Cool. Dude, there's so much trash in this room that... Yeah, I feel like there's... Oh, yeah, there we go. Good thing I didn't miss that. Ooh, and this. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. She's supportive. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things. Pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. She didn't tell her yet. Oh no, but she's leaving in like two days. Hmm. You better hop on it, Max. Max thinks that Chloe contributes a lot to her life. I'm sure Chloe thinks the same too, because a leader without a follower, a crazy person, without someone who's willing to follow them into situations... I've tried my best to clean this place. ...is nothing. I should check in with Chloe now. Yeah, I'm just looking around. Oh, the doll head. Yeah, boy band cards. <laughs> oh, there's another boy band sticker here. Or a uh, poster. There's me. Good old Max. Alright, Chloe. How have you been doing? We only threw away the jawbreaker. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for. But at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Oh my or god. I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. I thought this was supposed to be a fun episode without hard choices. What is this? Oh my god! Mm. I think it'll be more fun if we continue on the day without telling her now, but Chloe will be hurt more. Marginally more, because it's only like two or three hours difference, but... Maybe if we tell her now, then the things we do, you know, we can make the most of our day, because if we don't tell her, she'll just treat it like any other day, which is not a bad thing, but maybe... maybe we won't make the best use of our time. Actually... Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Don't... know how Holy to... Shit! Max, hold that thought. No. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? <laughs> That's crazy. 
I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> A vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> Such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek. Do mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches? <laughs> what? Yeah, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Suppers in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of treachers. Nice. <laughs> to find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek, but be forewarned. Uh, again, <coughs> only those with pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And, uh, why? <laughs> Dude, that was... Amazing. Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. No, Chloe. Listen to me. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Mag Silver. Sketch. For kids! <laughs> Keep out, Mom. Don't read our diary. The Bane of Arcadia. Oh, that's their... That's their ship. Galley, cockpit, plank, treasure keep, cannons... <laughs> it's almost like a kid's vocabulary book. Crow's Nest. Saloon. Saloon? They have a saloon on the ship? Oh, that's a that's a fancy ship. Bluebeard. Long Mag Silver. It's Captain Bluebeard to you. Pogo the Pirate. Not Bongo. All similarities are only imagined. The gang. Pirate rules. Number one, no bathing. No boys on the ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. What about booty? <laughs> Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Captain's Log. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more blunder and riches, Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. <laughs> oh, we might have trouble decoding the map then, huh? This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Probably. Yep. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Pogo. Is that like our first time seeing Bongo? I don't remember seeing other pictures of Bongo before. It's so cute though. Aww, cute little kitty. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? You ripped it out for security purposes, right? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But 
where could it be? I'm really mm. upset because I wanted to tell her, but now we can't. God damn it. Oh, we can just read it again. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Oh, Chloe Price, May 16, 2003. Teacher Miss Shelley. Social Studies, Stars and Stripes, Chapter 11. Sounds like something super patriotic already. The Civil War began when Southern states wanted to secede from the Union. The President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, gave the Gettysburg Address and issued the Emancipation Proclamation. The people who fought to end slavery were called abolitionists. Harriet Tubman worked with the Underground Railroad to help slaves escape to freedom. In 1964, Congress passed the 13th Amendment, a change or addition to the Constitution ending slavery. Oh, If it doesn't end piracy, I'm totally all for it. 100%! Great job as always, Chloe. Now please try to pay attention in class instead of drawing pictures with Maxine. <laughs> Whatever, teacher. As long as I'm getting a hundred, you can't say anything to me. Oh my god. This kind of reminds me how when you're little. I don't know if they enforce that anymore, but they keep trying to tell you that, oh, learning how to do cursive writing is so important, so you better do it. But you know what, teachers? We have computers nowadays. It looks like the map has a blue border, so maybe we should be looking around for that. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. <laughs> Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Oh my god, that looks so patriotic, what the heck? We don't have textbooks with beavers and maple leaves on them in Canada. Oh, there it is. Bingo. But I didn't look around yet! I didn't look around at everything yet. Chloe's secret lair, aka her bedroom probably. If we go to the dark cavern with an amulet, then we'll reach the treasure island. That's probably the backyard, Price Castle. What would the dark cavern be? Maybe the... the basement room? Not the basement, but the garage? Hmm. Huh. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. All right, sounds good. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Language. I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. 